the BDRP Classic. Hope you enjoy. Alright, what's up folks? I want you to check something out now. This was the very first anything that was spoken, that was put in the public for the Bigfoot Dogman Research Project. This was the very first show on Halloween night of 2015, I believe. And out of the archives, it comes to you. Now, this is unedited. I didn't know what was going on back then. I was nervous. Uh, I'd been in those Facebook groups. I saw that they were lost in the sauce. And me and Kirk Stokes said, you know what? Piss on it. We're just going to go hard in the paint. And we're going to make a researcher-centric channel and a researcher-centric show. So this is the... This is the first show we ever did, and I sincerely hope you enjoy. How's it going, brother? What's up, bro? This is uh, podcast number one. I'm D Doss. And I'm Kurt Stokes. We're extremely excited to uh, tell you about our humble beginnings and our uh, bright future with all our very eager plans that we have. Definitely. We have a lot, you know, since we've um, uh, met. Hooked up, brother. Absolutely. And, uh, it's uh, divine by nature. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I would definitely have to call you my brother now. You know. Absolutely. It's uh, it's, it's that um, it's that tight, you know. And um, well, it's it good thing. to explain to somebody, but uh, I started researching this uh, topic, cryptids and whatnot, a year ago to shoot a little no budget documentary. I uh, started off yep. watching Robert Dotson stuff. And then I found Kirk's, which I, I mean, about nine months, ten months into it. And I was completely floored. I'd seen real stuff before, but his footage, how close he was getting to the creatures out there, and uh, it was amazing. I'm like, you can take him from here, Kirk, and tell him the rest. Yeah, um, you had uh, contacted me on my uh, YouTube. Uh, comments and uh, uh, you know you were uh, really interested, especially in the book. You know, a lot of the videos and the Bigfoot Direwolf video. My personal favorite. I love it. Yeah, and I was, you know, I it's one of my personal favorites. Uh, uh, it, it's a special video, and uh, you know, I'm I'm I have kind of like, um, you know, I appreciate it. I'm glad you liked it, and. Uh, you know, from then on, you know, after reading your comments, I seen your enthusiasm in it. I just right. felt the, I mean, there was an instant, you know, connection there. Absolutely. You know, no, it was, was, it was the, uh, that comment this guy made, and everybody knows uh, a lot of speculations aren't on the topic itself, but somebody had made a comment, you know, seeing how real this was, like, he believed it, but he was saying, why don't you just run up to it, it'll be a heroic death, and blah, blah, blah. And this whole time I was researching this i never even read the comment let alone comment and i wasn't about that i didn't want to see the speculation or the debate yeah, and that was the first time i ever read through the comments and i've seen that and it affected me somehow like this magnificent footage that this guy's getting in like with all the people that gave you gratitude this guy out of nowhere i mean saying something like some offhanded remark like that i have to comment on it you know that's a, that's you know i told him i think it's remarkable i told you like uh well, you know what, what my degree was and everything, and from there just blossom like a flower. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we became brothers, you know. And um, um, like I said, it 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 personally makes me happy when somebody actually studies the videos. You yeah, know, me too. Because in that video, I mean, there's creatures which I know were dire wolves, and there was squatch in the in that video that was speaking out, and the dire wolves were. You know, they were they were out and about in that video. And uh I wasn't that far away. You know, absolutely. And, yeah, and I mean that's, and that's the first thing I noticed, like 
is you in, in, in most of your videos you'll uh, zoom in and pan out all the way for perspective. Definitely, and that's what I was going to say. You were one of the first ones to notice the, the distance that I shot that because a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people they look, but they don't really. You know, they don't Absolutely. really. They're watching, but they're not exactly. Yeah, studying. they're not seeing, yeah. seeing that distance. And I had some trained professionals that looked at it, and they right. were way off the mark. And you were, you know, you were right in there at saying they were saying that they thought I was about two hundred yards <laughs> out. And I told them more like sixty, but you caught it at about forty-five, you know, right yards. And that's how far I was when I shot that that morning. And, I was saying uh, like I thought it was forty, but I was like at the very most sixty. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. And, and these like professionals, said, like, are professionals, like, and you know, I was a big coup in my cap. Honestly, I felt pretty good. Number seven. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, you called it right because these guys, from what I know, I mean, you know, their their uh, their jobs are to analyze film. You know, absolutely. And they were way off the mark on it. I don't know what. I don't know why it was that big of a deal to them, but, you know, it, it, they apparently thought that, you know. And, um, but the video itself, I mean, it's, I think it's one of the best ones to show, you know, in, in a, in a yeah. small area, how many, uh, cryptids, how many creatures were, were in there in one spot. That's, and you, that's, you got that on your, uh, cell phone, right? Yeah, that's, that's the only thing I. Yeah, um, that was the only camera I had that day, a 2G cell phone, and uh, my regular Panasonic had gone out. And um, that was the only thing I had. And I mean, to have that good of film, you know, that good of footage with, you know, something as modest as a cell phone, like, that's remarkable to me. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, and, you know, there was. There was actually I told you about what happened after that, right? You know, and uh, um, it's uh, it wasn't a yeah, it was. I mean, it, it, the the incident that happened after. I mean, do you want me to talk about that? I guess we or did uh, yeah, up to you, brother? Really. Yeah, well, hell yeah, go ahead. Well, well after I filmed after I filmed that, just just a minute later, um. I was putting my other stuff in my, my backpack and I had seen this thing because I was on a ridge and it, it was about, it was about 60 foot deep down. And, uh, I said, I felt the running. Something oh. took off in the, my peripheral. And then, I mean, it just, I, I caught it at a high rate of speed. And, uh, it was bipedal. Um, I, it was, I couldn't see it that good. It was big and I could feel it, you know, I could feel the ground shake, you know, I mean, you can literally feel that. Wow. And, uh, and, and, and in that place where you, where you were with the, uh, where you filmed that, I mean, I don't think a lot of people realize that that's thick, thick forest. Oh yeah. It's thick. It's like a jungle. Yeah, you know, and this this was uh, this was taken in August of 2015, and uh, this creature that came running, well, it it was for surely coming up this ridge at me, and uh, all I at the time, I mean, all I was doing was I was I was kind of paralyzed because I figured it was coming up. I didn't have time to. Uh, you know, to make any decisions, I, I, I just stood my ground. Well, the right. thing stopped, you know, because I heard it. I mean, it just, the sound stopped, the running. And it let out this, this scream. And it was, it was more mechanical, you know, the scream itself. Um, and I, you know, the, immediately I'm just thinking, you know, is anybody else hearing this? You know, it was that loud. Like, yeah, it was that loud. I'm thinking. I mean, this was in the middle of nowhere, but I, you know, I'm just not enough for you somebody, to think somebody. Yeah, somebody else. Oh uh, yeah, somebody a mile away would have heard this, you know. And um, so it just after that, it just stopped. It like it dissipated, you know. 
Hmm. I went back to the car. I, I lit up a cigarette. You know, heart was racing. Yeah. And uh, I actually went back, got another cell phone, and went back to the spot to film. And, um, wow. you know, it, it, the, the action was gone. The, the direwolves, those things were gone. Nothing was there, you know. Um, but I, it, it shook me up, you know. Now, this unknown creature, like, did, I, I never asked you this, but did, did, and I don't know if you noticed, I, I probably wouldn't. I definitely mm-hmm. wouldn't have went back like bravery, like out of account. But but when you went back, do you think that they were reacting to that creature? This sounds even scarier than what they were. And I mean, and it's a little unsettling I, I to think, watch that. Yeah, that's a good question, bro. I think that they they did react to it because there was no sign of these things. And these I things mean, weren't small. Like but that was by perspective, like the, the, from what I could see, these dire wolves. And uh, the creatures that were in the film that you got that day, they weren't, you know, house pets. No, they were they were uh, good size, you know. And, um, you know, I mean, dire wolves naturally, if you look at the um, past record, past history on them, right. when they were supposed to be here, I mean, they, they make a normal wolf. I mean, some wolves are... Were pretty big today, you know. Yeah, wild wolves, yeah but, absolutely. On their back, and some wolves on their back feet stand like seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. If, if when they put their paws up on on something, you know, absolutely. And um, but now these were these had to be twice as big, you know. And um, I don't know why I never thought to ask you that they. Uh, I mean, the, the, the dire wolves that were in the film, did you notice if they showed any kind of fear or anything of this? But I, when you went, well, they, they were gone. So, yeah, they were gone. But as I was filming that film that morning, it was about 7 30 in the morning, and uh, I was focused on that one that was primarily in the center focus, right? The brown, and it, they, they were all just watching me. I, I couldn't focus on all of them, I, I just, you know, I, I center focused on that one. and. I, I can't say that I noticed the other stuff peaking, you know, until yeah, I, I know it exactly because I kind of you, you kind of reacted as you uh, panned over to see the other ones. You could see your reaction. Yeah, definitely, so. definitely. And that exactly. was, uh, and you know, I'd watched all like that wasn't the first one I watched, you know, and I was like, uh, this guy's legit, and I stumbled upon that one, read that comment, and then we had an incident here at uh, down in Texas at my home. It was like paranormal activity, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. And you were the one, for some reason, something told me to call you. And you gave yeah. me uh, a very unique perspective on it. And helped me. Yeah. Like he definitely. And it's uh, it's taken off from here. And, I mean, I could see your enthusiasm. You've experienced, you know, what you've experienced. And I attribute it directly to you. You know that. I, I appreciate it. But, you know, you you've. Uh, come into it with your own um, knowledge, you know, of it. And uh, I think with our uh, talents together, you know, it can only go up, you know, from here. Uh, you know, my life detective playing. skills. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And they are good, you know. They are Absolutely. good. Oh, I appreciate that. I really do. But, yeah, um, in the future, we plan... I don't know if I want to reveal it just yet, or if we want to reveal it just yet. We have, yeah, you we have super big plans. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely. a documentary uh, that we are currently writing and working on. Uh, I guess we call it pre-production, right, Gary? <laughs> definitely. You know, um, and it, and hopefully it'll combine um, your area, uh, the area here in Kentucky, and. Um, and uh, probably some of the best footage, you know, that I that think, anybody. And, and I, I think so. I think we I think we'll get Patterson Gimlin style footage. Irrefutable, undisputed. Yes, I would say that's that's going to happen when when we're you know as we get into this, you know, and that's the amazing thing about it, you know. I mean, if you think about it, you yes, see. Yeah, it's it's amazing, you know, it's amazing. And then, 
and we we actually are going to start a weekly podcast. This is a crude. We'll call it episode zero if you want. <laughs> uh, but uh, as we move on, we want to do at least two episodes a week. And as things progress, we start branching off into different subjects that interest us. <laughs> because the crypto is definitely number one. But we have oh yeah very unique. Both of us have very unique perspectives on a lot of different uh, topics and issues. Yeah, well versed on them. Well versed on all these mysterious issues, you know. Exactly, um, and I think a lot of people appreciate our perspective of it. Definitely, because I, I know I appreciate it, you appreciate it. But I don't think there's enough people, you know, that that actually delve into it. Right. You know. Whether they and, have time to. I mean, we understand everybody has families. Oh, yeah, you know, definitely. Work, definitely. you know, school and whatnot. But it, it'll be entertaining at the very least, and it'll be uh, insightful and informative at the very most. That's that's what our main goal is. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, that makes for interesting talk, you know, and because uh, I know I, I've grown up around it, you know, just like you have. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, one to delve into it and uh, and figure it out, you know, why the what and why is, why, you know. Exactly. I mean, just, just our perspectives, and, and there's the conversations everyone has. You know, uh, the, the yeah, yeah. assassination, uh, Boggy Creek mystery, and all that kind of stuff. Like, we're going to dip our toes into it all, I think. Definitely. And that's that's what's so great about it. I mean, you know, uh, um, you know, I aim to bring the, 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 the public into it, you know. Absolutely. Uh, for the conversation, you know. And that's that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, we, yeah, we're right. I'm glad you said that. Why yeah, as we get into it, it will be inclusive. Get, yes, definitely, and then maybe live podcasts where where everybody gets involved, you know. Right. Um, and uh, you know, have call in answers and stuff because uh, yeah, it's important to get the feedback on that stuff. You know, people want to be included in it, and that absolutely our Facebook group that you started that were, you know. I'll say we uh, started. I mean, I just you know thought it would be. In, I just threw it yeah, in there. <laughs> yeah, but you did a good job setting up the page. And, I appreciate uh, it. I tried. Yeah, it's a great page, and it's a thing. It's a uh, we like to say, you know, it's a it's a group where people you don't have to feel bullied. You know, right. your uh, opinion your opinion is going to be listened to and given merit, and at least discussed. Uh, you know, it's it's not just. I know we both. Uh, it's another avenue for everyone to see both of what we're capturing in our respective areas, but it, it's very much, anybody's welcome to post anything from their investigations or their research on our page and have it looked at and not ridiculed and respected. Definitely. That's the most important thing, you know, is to include, you know, everybody's opinion counts, you know, and as long as they're not, you know, running somebody into the ground. That, right, that, or, that. or ridiculing without any kind of merit. I mean, you, there's that's things that I, I can look of, at of mine and ridicule, you know, after I put it up, I say, well, I mean, that well, is kind of hard to see. Yeah, and I mean, the same with me, you know, when I started putting film out, you know, on these cryptids, I mean, you know, there's stuff I go back over, and I, and like we were talking about the other day, um, you know, if someone comments, uh, you know, and that's kind of crappy comment. I, I give an explanation to them, right. you know, and uh, at least give them that. I, I can understand that they have a problem with some things, but some things are just, yeah. I mean, under control a lot, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean, especially when you're shooting video of, of a cryptid, I mean, it's not going to be perfect all the time, you know? And then, but it's least, both areas that we, that we work, you know, I, people have to understand it's a good, t- I guess it's a good, place to tell them that we're not just you know stepping out of our car on the side of the road we are actually like hiking miles oh, yeah. in the deep yeah. thick sometimes you know five two miles you know in, uh, when you do that i mean it's not child's play i mean you know it's, yeah it's, uh, and, and, and a lot of people say uh we both ran into the why don't you bring a tripod and honestly <laughs> when somebody said that to me i don't i i didn't think about it i had one in the vehicle as a matter of fact yeah, definitely, and I that's been thrown my way a lot, you know, in these past uh, 
uh, you know, six years of filming, and you don't always, you can't always bring a tripod, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's, when you're already carrying a pack, all this stuff, and get one hooked up, and even a monopod, you know, and sometimes you have to have, sometimes you have to hold that camera. You get you know? it's, in, it's in the moment. Yeah, definitely. And you're, you know, my brain sometimes doesn't work fast enough anyway, because when you spot something, it's, it's there. They're not going to wait. Right. You know, they're not going to wait for you to hook up a monopod. I mean, it's, it's great if you can be in an area and you're camping, you set up a, a tripod. Sure. That's fine. But when you're on the move, it, it don't like, always and, work. Yeah, way. absolutely right. And I think that's how you've got the footage that you have is because you're actually pushing through there. You're like, you know, yeah, you're constantly it's... moving, like you're not stationary. I don't think if you're stationary, if you're stationary, they're going to come to you, but you're not going to see them. They're just going to monitor you. Definitely. That's a good point, you know, because a lot of times these cryptids, they just pop up. You know, I mean, they when you're in thick, you know, thickets, um, these things are masters at hiding. You know, you know that. Right. And and a lot of times they, they will just pop up on you, you know. and um, like we're not trying to have any kind of secret information, and we don't claim to know everything there is to know about it. We put forth what we do know, and um, you just know, you know, if if you see our stuff or other people's, then we're taking a personal responsibility upon ourselves. We are accepting what dangers are out there because we're not taking a stroll through a city park. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it's. Uh... I mean, there's different risks to this stuff. You know that. I've taken, uh, sure. you know, personally, I've taken uh, some uh, personal setbacks, yes. and uh, I won't discuss them. But that no one would, no, that no one would want. But just yeah, you're that exactly. passionate. I mean, that's another reason I admire you. Like, is it what other people look at as scripts, and you look at it as a minor setback. Yeah, I appreciate that, brother. Um, and you and you know what those things are, you know, um, that that have been the setback. Um, but you know, you can only go up, you know. And Absolutely. If you stop, if all this is for naught, you know. Yeah, Kirk Stokes can only go up. A lot of people would fold. Sure. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but <laughs> you just have that kind of enthusiasm, like for what you do. Yeah, I appreciate that. But that's why, you know, I think we teamed up and. Because you got the same kind of enthusiasm and, and passion for it, you know, and uh, very and an inquisitive mind, you know. I yeah, yeah. it's just you know, uh, you have to have an imagination to a point, like you know, and piece things together. That and, and and it goes all the way back around to you know the speculation that a lot of people have when they see pictures or videos. You know, well, this couldn't be this, or it's pareidolia. Like until there's a body produced and brought forth to the public and it's anatomy made it's specific anatomy made public knowledge like i don't see how anybody anybody and everybody's finds can't be at least studied that's what that's what you know and that's where your investigative skills you personally come in to help me you know because i i'm just known i mean what i do i see in film i you know I, I need that investigative part that you bring to it. And and like I said, you also have the, the gift to see it, you know. Um, and um, I don't know. I mean, I, I really think it's a great combination. I do too. And I, you know? it's, it's an extremely, ex, ex, I can't, I, it's mind boggling to wrap my mind around everything that we've discussed that we want to do as far as the podcast, the documentary, which, I mean, with everything going on, we can make that a three-part, two-hour, uh, two hours a piece documentary. Really, you know, uh, well, I mean, just so much out there. Definitely, and uh, it, it could go, it could go to a twelve-hour documentary. I mean, really, yeah, really, it, it's no. we, we have to like, it's hard to put like, okay, we have to keep it within this time frame because there's so much to discuss and so much to see, so much to do. There's so much to do, you know. Um, there's so much. Um, and like I said, um, with our plans, um, I personally can say it, it will definitely be groundbreaking, you know. I believe so as well. 
I know this, I, I see it, you know, and um, it, it can only go up, you know, from here. Absolutely. And uh, I'd like to personally apologize to everyone on our Facebook page because uh, we have this bright idea at zero hour to have like a Q&A session. And uh, we had a snafu on our technical side, which is attributed directly to me. <laughs> so, but I, I mean, you know, that's a fun idea that we were toying around with just to like. Uh, yeah, and then, you know what? Well, actually, it worked out, you know, as a test run for that like, Q&A, you know, session. Yeah, sure. You know? And, um, um, yeah, that's the way I look at it. It was just practice for when everybody hammers us with questions. <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. But uh, I mean, uh, we want our page to have the uh, to be exclusive or to feel exclusive, and like I said, uh, be a part of this with us. And uh, you know, there there'll be a lot of content that we'll release on the page that you know we may not release anywhere else. Definitely, as a thank you. That's yeah, definitely. And you know, I mean, we both and I and you, you know, I want to thank all of the, you know. Uh, great people on Facebook. I mean, the ones that all of them, you know, yeah, absolutely been very, very yeah, supportive and very kind. Definitely, definitely. I mean, that's that's the whole thing. Without it, it'd be you know, no one uh, participating. You, you know, know it'd be me and you. Uh, yeah, just you know, looking at between all the kids the, on the court. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so you know, it's a way to bring them all in and then give them a shot to look at this stuff. You know, absolutely. And, uh, and I have questions are even disputed. Like I, neither one of us, we're the same way this, in this aspect. We don't attack our detractors, but they have to have some logical sense in what they're trying to point out that's wrong. Definitely, definitely, and that's what I've always gone by. I don't mind that people question it. Uh, I, I invite it almost. Like, I mean, you know. Oh yeah, you know. I, I do now. I, I'm and when I first got into this stuff publicly, I I had kind of a you know. Uh, yeah, I know. Of, I, I know exactly what you mean. Cause you have to help. Yeah. Me, like <laughs> you have to help me with that a yeah. little bit, you know. And you know, I mean, it's a thing where you realize, you know, people are going to question, but I, I do want them to, like you said, point out why. You know, I mean, give a logical. Um, you know, reason for why they don't see what they're seeing, or you know, absolutely. I want to be do I brought a, a, a different perspective. So next time I do go out, maybe you know, subconsciously that'll maybe I won't stand this way. Maybe I'll stand another way. So I'll make sure that this error won't happen again because we both know what we're getting. We're seeing with the naked eye. I mean, it's out there. We're seeing them, hearing them, smelling them. Definitely, and that's a good point. Uh, you know, in the past, I've I look at everybody's comments, uh, especially on my channel my Facebook, uh, and I put those, a lot of them to use, you know, uh, sure. when somebody tested something, you know, and it, it's helped me do it better, you know. Um, but, you know, like we said, there's situations where it just arises where you just have to film it. I mean, you you, you can't think, you know. You, the camera's going to be shaky sometimes, yeah, you know. Absolutely, and that's one thing you taught me. Uh, it's a dawning process in and of itself. I mean, the, 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 and, and you've been a whole lot closer than me, and I and I've been fairly close. But uh, it's 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 just enough for your mind to wrap itself around what your eyes are seeing, and accept it for reality. To even pull the camera up to your face. Definitely, because there's been times when I've been in close vicinity when I couldn't get to. I wasn't thinking about the camera. I was just thinking about. You know, is this going to be my last day? <laughs> yeah, or I mean, just yeah. I, the, me, like the uh, first visible sighting I had, I told you about, and then mm -hmm. you know, I just had a feeling the first time we went in. The first time we went in, we, you know, heard the sound, the tree knock, rock clanking, and on the way out, we heard, you know, heavy footfalls. Yeah. And I've told this on another page before, but, you know, I started doing, when I was within running distance of the, the vehicle, I started making noises, and I heard something whistling and blowing its lips at the same time. Definitely. And I mean, that was that was def definitive. It's crazy to say oh, what yeah. was doing. Like, no, it, it happens. You know, and it just had it a happens. feminine quality to the wild so I had it in my mind that it's female. And on the uh, Facebook page, there's a female in the nest, and then, like, what looks like a cub or a baby or whatever you want to call it, like, set outside the nest, which 
In mm-hmm. my opinion, I don't I, like I said, I don't know, but I don't see them doing that if they were afraid or that we would harm them in some way, or if they wanted to harm us. Oh, definitely. If um, we discussed this before, and you might or not have made it out. I mean, seriously. I mean, oh yeah, that was, you know, exactly. exactly. There'd be it's, and I always say this. When I step in those woods, I know that I'm now second on the food chain. Like, yeah. you know, I don't go in with any sort of arrogance that I'm going. Oh, well, I'm going to do this and that. You know, I go in with respect and uh, to investigate and observe, not to interfere. I guess I should say. Definitely, uh, you hit the nail on the head on that one, brother. The um, the the no arrogance and the respect. I mean, that's you know, you're walking into their backyard. Sure. And uh, just guess as if he was to do with anybody. You know, if he was walking in their house, you know, um, you got to show the respect. I mean, it, it was like that, like that when the, you know, a lot of the white men and uh, other people came over with the Native Americans, you know, uh, right, you just yeah. didn't walk in, you know, you had to show some kind of respect. I mean, absolutely. you know. I never did think about it that way, but you're absolutely right. And, you know, that, that like you said, I call them the, the tribe out there. It is almost like a. It has a tribal feel to it. It does. A lot of them do have the uh, tribal aspect to it, you know. And I mean, it's, and, it's, uh, uh, there's been incidents that took place I told you about that, you know, really made me think that. The hierarchical type of governance that they have with oh, yeah. themselves. Definitely. Um, I mean, it's there, you know. It's part of the, what I believe. I know it's what you believe also. That yes, sir. This is, this is how they run their... Uh, their family, you know, their tribe, you know, and uh, it's all hierarchical, you know. Yes, uh, and, and they don't have the same hang-ups that we do. They're not like, you know, they don't go to Facebook or they're not gossiping. I mean, they're very, I don't, I don't even like saying primitive, but uh, I, I don't know the word to put. No. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know the word to put to it, but yeah, it's, all, it's almost like a primitive family unit, you know. Uh, it is. Definitely, definitely, and because uh, that's the only way I would think that a system would work like that out there. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. You I know. mean, you know, if the young ones are just running around with no discipline, what could be a number of throwing something in there, ten that have been in this area for two hundred years, they run out and say in front of a park ranger, that park ranger brings people back. That doesn't happen. We've never read about it. We've never heard about it. These things are extremely elusive. Definitely. So elusive, you know, and uh, that's the major, um, that's the major mystery, you know, uh, right. as, you know, some of us, uh, I know for myself, I mean, it's, I don't know why it's easier for some people really to be able to be near and film these creatures, but... right. Some of us do. I mean, you know for yourself. I mean, you've gotten close also, you know. Absolutely. And uh, We have ideas, but we'll talk about them in a, somewhere else. Yeah, definitely, definitely, you know. and uh, But it's true. I mean, you know, uh, very few do have the experiences that, that we have. You know? Walking through the yeah. same areas. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. And uh, I, I don't really, I don't, like you said, we'll discuss it at a later time, you know. Yeah, we're going to farm on episode mm-hmm. two. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, I mean, but, there's, uh, there's so much. It's like there's so much to go over. Like if if we made this ten hours, we could still make a, another episode with another ten hours. Like, oh yeah, from the different perspectives that I mean, because we we, we Kirk and I just don't look at things through our perspectives. We try to put ourselves in other people's minds, and you know, or how these creatures would think. So, and that keeps it exciting and it keeps it when we go out in the field, to me at least, like to go out there with a different perspective or to take what I learned the time before and apply it to the uh, the next visit to the jungle. I mean, you, just going through there with the camera and snapping pictures, I mean, if it works for you, that's great, but it, 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 I don't think it would for me. No, um, it's, it's, I actually, and I'll show, you know, because we'll, we'll trade our, you know, know hows and secrets. Right. On upcoming, you know, doc and, um, 
but it's it's more or less. I mean, sometimes you have to track. You know, sometimes I'm I'm looking for prints. You know. Yeah, and, I, and, uh, and you're right. And and, and there's uh, people who are successful. Like I mean, they're amazing trackers, and they have like some pretty good evidence. Definitely. But sometimes there's other things involved with it. You know, it just depends on what location and uh, and uh, the weather and all this stuff. I mean, it's everything's um, everything's a uh, factor in it. You know. Yeah, I think yeah, you're right. I don't think we, you can just take one aspect because I've gone into I've gone into my area before, and somehow with no rain or uh, changes in weather, the footprints that I left weren't there. Definitely. Definitely. You know, I've hunted in uh, southern and eastern Oklahoma since I could hold a gun, and there are things that I notice now that were probably there then, but I just walk right by them. Definitely. Um, you know, like the Jersey Devil shot I shot uh, in Kentucky. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome shot, too. Um, I appreciate it. You know, that that culminated from two weeks of tracking this thing. I mean, it 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 wasn't really just you know walking in and, and getting it. You know, it's just we we tracked it. You know, and I've seen these. <laughs> I had seen this thing in that area. You know, a month prior in a film. Wow. I didn't have a camera. You know, but the the hoof prints were there. You know, and hmm. that two weeks to track this. You know, God. literally two weeks. You know, and I do have pictures, uh, photos of the, the video also of the tracks. I, I did not put those up with the with the video, with the actual pictures of the thing, but I will, you know. Um, I just, yeah, it, it is amazing. There's know, a lot uh, of things that we both haven't shared. And we'll oh, find yeah. a format to do that, like, in the near future, but... Like I said, we want that. We 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 do want our page because I'm very proud of it to have oh, exclusive. Um, well, we both discussed. We we want that to be like ground zero or the launching pad for everything that's coming in the future. Definitely, because there's so much to come, and also in the doc, in the documentary we Absolutely. plan on doing that. Me and you are going to do, and um, I mean it's it, I. <laughs> I want to say it'd be nothing short of uh, blockbuster, you know. Yeah, I mean, we both like start stammering in our words when we start talking about it because it's it's exciting. Yeah, it really is. Definitely, it is. And it's your area, and I, I mean, I'm I don't you, you know me, I don't make any kind of qualms about knowing that you're Obi Wan. I'm just with Skywalker in the first movie. <laughs> I say that all the time, like I, I, and I'm 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 humble enough to take a back seat and listen and learn because that's how that's how this works, like. If, if there's someone who has more experience, you know, I'd listen to them. I think that's what there are a lot of people who have good intentions, who have good hearts to go out to try to find things, but they get deterred because they a don't know what to look for, or they don't they go out for a week and they don't see anything. But it, I can tell you from experience, me listening to Kurt, just in casual conversation, applying that to the field. Uh, if you have somebody who's a researcher and investigator and this type of stuff, it'll it'll benefit you to listen to them very very carefully. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate that, brother. I, you know, there's a lot of things you can, uh, equal amounts that you can bring to the table. And that's why I paired up with you, I you know, that. and, uh, cause, you know, I, I know talent when I see it, you know, and, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Yeah, I know that. Like, you're a very honest, man. I appreciate it. I, you know, I don't know if I deserve it, but. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, it's my opinion. Yeah, I appreciate that. It, oh, uh, you're going to want to tell them about your uh, big upcoming gig. Yeah, um, I've, I'll be doing a, a show on uh, After Hours AM coming up in November. And uh, with, uh, you know, it's uh, anytime you get invited to do a, a national radio so, you know, it's a good thing, especially when you're Absolutely. talking about, you know, dogmen or, or um, cryptids or anything, you know, uh, just to get the word out, you know, because a lot of times it's hard to get on a show. 
you know, even if you, you're doing everything right, you know. And actually and, uh, invited to one. Yeah, I actually be invited and, and uh, people want to hear it, you know, and, and the hosts want to hear it. And, you know, that's, that's the, I mean, I mean it's, it's kind of an honor, you know. Yeah, it's an absolute honor. I mean, so uh, it's syndicated to, what, 5 million uh, listeners? Yeah, that's that's what yeah. I've, you know, yeah, so that's pretty, uh, yeah. That's a big feather in the cap, I'd imagine. I mean, <laughs> That's, that's uh, yeah. awesome, brother. It, it really is. Well, I appreciate super it. Super happy and know. super proud of it. Like, uh, I appreciate that. I mean, I'm privileged. Um, to, I mean, because a friend, you know, and uh, anything that you talk uh, about, you know, uh, what I've learned to love. Because I do. I mean, I love going out there in that field. I, I, you know, it's dawning and it's, uh, I'd say it's scary sometimes. I mean, I've never been made to feel fear, but just the simple fact of knowing and seeing something that I, you're number two, like there'd be no, I'm a big guy and, you know, wrestled all through high school, all through middle school and grade school, state, I mean, went to state championships and stuff, but I'm, I'm nothing out there, you know, like these creatures, I don't even think they bother with me. They probably think it's cute that, you know, (laughs) I'm coming through there. (laughs) (laughs) I I mean, like I've said, I mean, even I, I've said it before in interviews uh, on on radio. It's um, you can be the biggest man, but no man. Decide, I mean, if these things decided to, you know, get squirrely, you would. No one would have a chance. You know? Absolutely. You know, because I've been in close vicinity. I you've heard some of my my stories. That, yes. Experiences and uh, they, uh, to be near one of these things, I mean, it, it can make you, yeah, I know me, and it makes me look like a child, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not 15, 20 yards thing. away, like in some yeah, that's overgrowth, that's like just seeing one of them. I mean, yeah, I stopped in my tracks and I was going to see what it did next before I made a move. Definitely. Uh, I mean, in, in some of the areas, I know in Oklahoma, it's, it's, it's uh, from what I know. Uh, the area is, it can be like a jungle also. Yeah. Uh, you absolutely. get in some of these old growth forests in Oklahoma or Kentucky, and I've been deep in them, and when you are surrounded by these creatures, uh, it would be impossible to get out anyway. I mean, it, it takes so long to get in there sometimes. You know, they, they, I've seen them move through it like butter. You yep. know, uh, you're, you're talking about something that's eight foot tall. You know, six hundred. Yeah, do yeah, exactly. Do the uh, math on if it's eight feet tall and that yeah. wide, like massive. Yeah, uh, and the way we talked about that earlier today, the way they move and how fluid it is. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, and to think if something went down bad the wrong way, yeah. I would, I would have a problem climbing. You know, getting through about ten foot of. It, yeah, I mean, you know? like. When you're when it's in some of these places, when you're having to basically crawl on your hands and knees through bramble bushes and down That's trees, you know, uh, you're not just snakes and everything a, else. A straight line away. Yeah, definitely. And then the snakes, I mean, they're big here in Kentucky. I mean, you know, yeah, you got your ten mile rabbit too. And, yeah. And when you're walking, you know, three miles deep and five miles deep and then these old growth, I mean, you know, on the way in, you're watching every step. Of course. I mean, you know, sometimes you know, I, I, it's probably the same in Kentucky. You're probably a foot off the ground just because of some of it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Definitely. And you never know, you know, when when uh, you, you're going to get a bite, you know. Right. And, uh, and then to have to worry about if something went down, you know, and with the situation with one of those creatures, it'd be impossible to make it out. You know, yeah, I mean, you know, just like hiking through some of this treacherous stuff. Without them being there, I mean, it's dangerous. That's why, you know, yeah, it's, we would never advocate anybody doing it, but we would never want to deter anyone either. You know, just know the risk before you go and know the area you're going into. Uh, know the risk before you go in. Know what creatures are there. I mean, there's usually a chart. Uh, Definitely. You know, venomous snakes and things of that nature. Definitely. And we talked about this earlier today. I, yeah. I would never... Um, you know, deter anybody. If they want to go and look, you know, go look. Uh, you know, but you know, like you said, um, watch your surroundings. 
and it's yeah. worth and I, and you know like if you if you you can't go to the city park ten feet away from you know the picnic tables like you're gonna have yeah, to no. hike you're gonna have to go in there yeah you, oh yeah you, you we you know it's longitude latitude you know uh, right. direct coordinates and uh, like you said a lot of these times when you're going in it's it's gonna be five to ten miles. And that equates in a regular walk. I mean, conversions of all this stuff. That could, in, in a regular walk, that could be 25 miles. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I didn't even take that into you account, know, you know. Yeah, uh, you know. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's I just think like, yeah, cause you're going to have to like, yeah, you know, you're not going, you're not going through a crow's, uh, on a crow's path or how a crow flies. Like you're definitely, definitely, you know, going around 50 yards because there's a thick growth of trees or, yeah, or creeks, or yeah. you know, rivers. And, or forbid uh, if there's creeks. I mean, I don't know about up there, but there's some cottonmouths or water moccasins in Oklahoma. Yeah, not and, at all. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and uh, and when we do the stock, I mean, there's a lot of creeks, a lot of rivers that that will you know be going through. Right. And, uh, you're right. The cottonmouths, you know, they can be thick. You know, in June yeah, and yeah, May, they're kind of aggressive know. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, they can be. Uh, uh, you know, every once in a while, somebody would get that one, and you know, but, I mean, I if you're want. alert, that doesn't happen. I mean, they yeah, they're close they're enough, they'll give you a warning. Oh, definitely. Yeah, same way with cameras. They use they usually move. You know, right? They hear you from the vibration, but um, yeah. But every now and then, you know, when uh, you catch one off guard and you step on it, that's when you know that's all she wrote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you're already five miles in there. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah. I mean, unless you have other people with you, it's, it's not going to be good. That's why I, I used to go out alone a lot. You know, now we'll be doing it, and uh, I just uh, that's one of the reasons why anymore now I, I take caution not to not to go alone. Right. You know. I, I can't afford it, you know. I mean, it, it very well could end up dead me, you know. Yeah, absolutely right. I mean, I'm a snake, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, honestly, it is. It's, it, it, like, it's daunting to go in there, period. I mean, because mm-hmm. things are yeah. moving all oh, around yeah. you. Plus, the you can have hogs. I mean, um, just about anything. Oh, yeah. Really. yeah. Definitely. I mean, it's anything. I mean, you I've... I've I've walked so careful before in old growth, and next thing I know, I'm on my stomach. Yeah, know, I know the what you mean. Coming. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's just anything. And, and then, like you said, the, the creatures that are in the encrypted, um, you know, especially if you don't know the area and you don't know what kind they are, I mean, it, it, you know, it, it can be dangerous. Uh, you know, it, it, it just... My life with people, like, you know, it is an experience, and it's one that I love. And, you know, other people are interested, and I just want them to, for their own safety. Because we, we don't ever want to see something happen to anyone, anyone you mm-hmm. know. No, definitely. No, it's not worth it. Like, you know, for something that we're doing, I mean, I'm... Um, it's worth it to us, but it may not be that Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, this has become my life, and... Now, you know, you're, uh, you know, a part of that, you know, of this work. And, uh, we don't mind putting that, you know, putting no. ourselves out there. I mean, you know, you know is that, yeah, is that's the only way of I mean, there's some people who, you know, probably put pot knots on their head with that kind of attitude. But, you know, you can't really deter anybody who, you know, wants to go. And especially there's certain people who they go and see it. And that can, oh, that's yeah. not that's not going to be enough for certain people. Mm-mm. No, you're right. You know, um, there are some that we want to have. You know, oh, I just want to see one once, and they could see it on the other side of a big cornfield and be happy. Like, yeah, yeah we're going to go through the cornfield. We're going to come back the next yeah, time and go on there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, you know, I. Um, it, it's in our blood, you know. I mean, that's Absolutely. what I've made my, it's turned my life out. You know, we, I don't make money at it. You don't either, you know. Right. Like, yeah, and I, I, I spent like an entire year researching and getting contacts. I even have interviews that I never put on my channel. If you go to, to, to my channel, mm-hmm. there's no videos whatsoever. Even though I had them recorded, mm-hmm. I edited one uh, to actually put up. But I was just so interested in the topic itself and talking to people and, 
you know, hearing these experiences and taking bits and pieces out and like uh, using deductive reasoning to, to apply here in Oklahoma. And plus one of the, the, the big cases, uh, Brown Springs, where supposedly a Bigfoot came up on a teenage couple parking in this um, really, really treacherous place. Like, and, it, and it's close to my area, honestly, and I don't see how they would even get a vehicle in any of those places down there, but that's how the story goes. But, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it, it's it's fun for us and i know a lot of people have a lot, deep interest in it and we're we're super proud of everybody who's uh, on our page and happy that okay. everybody's so interested 314 members now and uh, it was like what a hundred and something within the course of two days oh yeah that's and, uh, i mean yeah it is it's great and you know great bunch of people you know right and, uh, active and uh very nice oh yeah very kind you know and that's uh, makes for a good family, you know, on Facebook. And um, I just, I, I'm so excited about the stock, you know, this documentary right. that we're going to be um, putting together because, you know, I've waited a long time for this, you know. Yeah, I mean, and, it, uh, and we're going to have a lot of fun while we do it. I get to eat some, yeah, uh, some Kentucky, Native Kentucky food. Yeah, definitely. Uh, no pork. Yeah, right. There you go. <laughs> 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 oh man, I don't want that. But um, but uh, no, it, it, it the podcast coming up and all these, these plans. You know, we got them worked out pretty good. I think it'll it'll be great, brother. You know, I, I think it'll be great. Like I said, we would call it what episode zero, and then like uh, the next one, we have a format, and uh, we'll even ask you know our our uh, members of our group to suggest, uh, you know, topics that we should talk about. We'll try to keep it within an hour and, uh, you know, it, it, it'll be you guys, what you, uh, want to hear us say or what you want to hear us discuss or, you know, pick our brains about. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's, that's the best way to go about it. You know, I mean, honestly, to, both uh, of us, if we have long pauses, it's because like we are super excited about a lot of stuff and we don't want to give everything away because I know we will because yeah. we're like kids. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. On, on Christmas morning. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah, I can't wait to, you know, open the presents, you know, but, uh, it's, it's almost yeah, like I, giddy about it, you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, this is, uh, like I said, we waited through this and, and, um, you know, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. But uh, one yeah. step at a time, and your interview is the 9th of November? Yes, the 9th of November. And, right. um, and that's on Coast to Coast AM. No, um, it is on um, After Hours AM. After Hours AM, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> after, after, uh, after Hours AM, you know. And um, hopefully, I mean, uh, it'll be a good one, you know. I don't think that would uh, hopefully to it. I mean, you're going to tell an outstanding story that everybody's going to love. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it should be uh, pretty um, detailed, you know. Awesome. Uh, pretty detailed. And um, well, I guess uh, uh, the, uh, we better end it before we start giving away the farm again. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm getting excited. I want to, I want to tell everybody so bad, like what's in store, but I can't because there'd be no surprise. Even though I know yeah. everybody would still love it, I could tell them in precise detail what they're going to see, and they'd still like watch every bit of it. Definitely, definitely, because I'm starting to get real giddy. Yeah, <laughs> jumpy. <laughs> I know what the coffee. You know, <laughs> the Bigfoot Dogman Research Project. Facebook page. We thank you to no end for all your, uh, I mean, your con words and uh, your observations that you made with Kirk and myself. Exactly. More for Kirk than me. He's he's Obi Wan. Uh, uh, nah, I don't deserve that. No, I'll take it, but I don't deserve. It. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Y'all have a good night and thank you again. Thanks, brother.